Unveiling the newcomer, new kid on the block, explained. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're going to unravel the meaning behind a popular English phrase, new kid on the block. This phrase is not only interesting but also quite common in everyday English conversations. So, let's break it down together and understand how you can use it in your own conversations. New kid on the block is a phrase used to describe someone who is new to a particular place, group, or situation. It's often used to highlight that the person is the most recent addition and might not yet be familiar with the way things work in that new environment. The phrase can be used in various contexts, such as schools, workplaces, neighborhoods, or any social setting. The phrase, new kid on the block, has an interesting background. It originates from the early 20th century, where it was used in the context of neighborhoods to describe new families moving in or children joining a new group of friends. Over time, it became a metaphor for anyone who's new to any situation. Interestingly, the phrase gained even more popularity in the late 1980s with the rise of an American boy band named New Kids on the Block, bringing the phrase into mainstream culture. Understanding how to use new kid on the block in your conversations can be quite helpful. Here are a few examples. 1. In a work setting, we should go easy on Jake. He's the new kid on the block, after all. 2. In school, I felt like the new kid on the block when I transferred schools mid-year. 3. In social situations, have you met Tara? She's the new kid on the block in our yoga class. The phrase is used to express empathy, awareness, or simply to state that someone is new. It's important to use it in a context where being new is relevant to the conversation. While, new kid on the block, is quite popular, there are other variations and similar phrases that convey the same idea. For example, newbie, greenhorn, fresh face, these phrases can also be used to describe someone who is new to a particular situation, though they might carry slightly different connotations depending on the context. Understanding phrases like, new kid on the block, can greatly enrich your English vocabulary and make your conversations more colorful and expressive. We hope this video has shed some light on this interesting phrase and how you can use it. Remember, being the new kid on the block is a temporary phase. It's all about embracing new experiences and learning from them. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.